Hi, this is the second of the series on inclusion and diversity, and I would like to make almost an appeal this afternoon. And one is that we use an acronym those days called VUCA, standing for volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. This is definitely a good description of, of in many instances, what's going on in corporate America. Whichever the size of the company, but the larger it is, and the more obvious you can feel uh, that I'm this VUCA acronym applies to the general atmosphere. It's very important that this inclusion and diversity does not become only a political scene, uh, removes the oxygen from the air, makes the life of those managers impossible. And this is my appeal that we need to ease this out. We need to go back to the role of HR, which is a communication role, which is a, a mediation role, which is also an empowering role, and that HR leaders and staff members and, understand that they are a supportive system. And when it is about uh, alignment or if it's about policies, it has to come with a lot of discussion, a lot of consensus, create committees, create groups where people can discuss and reach consensus. This is what, you know, we call sometimes in healthcare shared governance. Create a committee of inclusion and diversity. Invite over people that represent the community, are neutral, objective, and can exchange and discuss and uh, share an opinion without being judged. Because again, this is the time when we use an acronym like VUCA, volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity. Isn't that enough already of all of those that creates really so much tension and so much pressure that we can create an environment in the workplace that is inviting, warm, human, and gives also space for exchanging with each other, really kind of shift our mindset to a total positive one. Thank you very much.